Candidates for State Senator, District 4. Nancy Bartow, Party, Republican. Campaign funding, traditional. Website, nancybartow.com forward slash. As your senator, protecting our individual freedoms is my number one goal. Keeping our government limited and accountable is key to our thriving economy. District 4 needs support for our law enforcement and a strengthened southern border which protects our citizens. Support for parents' rights. Education that works for every student and protection of every innocent life. I am your tireless advocate. I listen, I solve problems, and will never compromise our values. I have made it my job to look out for the vulnerable. All too often, the needs of the weakest are ignored because they aren't tied to lucrative special interest contracts and power brokers in government. These are the voices I have sought to bring with me into the Senate. Who are these voices? Foster children who lack representation and go missing with no one invested in their recovery. The seriously mentally ill who slip through the cracks of our broken system. Ending up incarcerated instead. This is an important moment for our district and state. If reelected to the Senate, fighting for you and our precious freedoms will continue to be my aim. I thank you for your support and I ask for your vote. Christine Marsh, party, Democratic, campaign funding, traditional. Website, www.christineportermarsh.com. While my experiences as a mother, teacher, and foster mother helped me to decide to run for the state senate, what truly motivates me is the need for more balance at the Capitol. After being elected to my first term in the state senate in 2020, I knew my job was to represent all of my constituents regardless of their views or their backgrounds. I went straight to work on the issues that matter, curbing the impact of our state's drug crisis, bringing together parents and schools to make sure that our kids have access to a quality public education and securing the right to vote. Our state faces many challenges and one party rule has stifled Arizona for decades. With our most vulnerable populations being placed at the most risk, our district needs to elect a Senator who will listen to all her constituents and make sure that all good ideas get heard. That way, we can work together to solve the many challenges we face.
Candidates for State Representative District 4. John Arnold, Party, Republican. Campaign funding, traditional. Website, John Arnold 4az.com forward slash. My name is John Arnold, and I'm running for the State House in Legislative District 4. Because Arizona is a special place, and I believe we need leaders who will preserve our conservative values. I'm a small business owner, lifelong Republican, husband, and father to four children who I hope will call Arizona home for years to come. Furthermore, I'm a political outsider who will bring a new voice and fresh perspective to the state capitol. I've lived in Arizona for 26 years, graduated from Northern Arizona University with a degree in finance and received my MBA from the University of Phoenix. I've been a financial advisor in Scottsdale since 1999, helping our clients create wealth and save for retirement. I understand the best manager of your money is you. And I believe in a limited government model of lower taxes and less regulation. I am a proud member of the NRA, the Scottsdale Area Chamber of Commerce, and the Scottsdale Charos. We as a state have significant challenges. As your representative, I'll work to secure our border, fight inflation, protect our water future, restore trust with parents and school boards, preserve our open spaces, and stand with law enforcement. Kenneth R. Bowers, Jr., party, Republican, campaign funding, Traditional. Website, www.votekinbowers.com forward slash home. Hello, District 4 neighbors. I am unique among the candidates seeking this office. As follows. I am a U.S. Navy veteran, a supporter of President Trump, and a veteran of almost 20 years service with the Arizona Department of Corrections. My primary issue, a fundamental reform to our criminal justice system to stop sending nonviolent offenders to prison. My plan would impose fines and restitution on nonviolent fiscal offenders and reserve prison time for violent offenders. I represent conservative thought on various issues such as I do not want to defund the police, nor do I want male athletes to compete in female sports. Let's secure our borders. I am pro-life, pro-capitalism, 
and pro Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms. Website, votekenbowers.com. God bless America. Ken Bowers. Vera Gibran, Party, Republican, Campaign Funding, Traditional, Website, VoteVera.com, forward slash. Vera Gibran is running for State House in District 4 because she's invested in rescuing this country for her children's generation. For far too long, America has been declining. Our social institutions are being poisoned by ideology. Our elections are becoming less secure. And illegal immigration has yet to be solved. Vera also believes it's past due to push back against an overreaching government and big tech trying to micromanage our lives. Vera is running for the state house because now is a critical fork in the road for Arizona. We either maintain Arizona history as a state of opportunity or we allow radical ideologies to squander the American dream away. As immigrants from Lebanon, Vera's parents arrived with little more than a strong work ethic. With hard work, and the American opportunity, they built a beautiful life for themselves and their children. Because of this, Vera is incredibly passionate about the United States and freedom. It's her desire to protect taxpayers, restore our constitutional rights, and improve our K through 12 schools and universities. Vera is a woman of the people, not a politician. Matt Gress, party, Republican, campaign funding, traditional. Website, www.mattgress.com. Matt Gress, is an Arizona conservative that believes in common sense principles like small government, balanced budgets, and individual liberty. He's running to protect the Arizona we know and love, one built on freedom, free enterprise, and opportunity for all. Like many, Matt came here from somewhere else, small town, Oklahoma. The youngest of four, he was raised by a single mom in a single wide trailer. Growing up, Matt learned the value of hard work, to respect his elders and to count his blessings. Matt worked his way through college, driving school buses, and became the first in his family to earn a degree. After graduating, Matt was accepted to join Teach for America, a national teaching corps focused on serving in high need, high poverty schools. From 2017 to 2021, Matt served as a governing board member 
in the Madison Elementary School District. While on the board, Matt fought to keep schools open during COVID-19, supported increased school choice, and advocated for parents and taxpayers to have a seat at the table in curriculum and hiring decisions and budgeting. Matt currently serves as the state's top budget chief in the Arizona Governor's Office of Strategic Planning and Budgeting. Jana Jackson, party, Republican, campaign funding, traditional. Website, janajacksonaz.org forward slash. As a dedicated conservative, Jana will stand with Arizonans and support legislation that will protect parental rights and school choice so that every child can get the best possible education. She will support our police and first responders and work to pass policies to help our growing veteran population. Jana is pro-life and pro-family. She believes in real border security that includes a completed wall. And Jana will keep Arizona's economy growing by keeping our state competitive in terms of low taxes and regulation. For qualified conservative leadership, vote Jana Jackson for State House. Maria Sims, party, Republican, campaign funding, traditional. Website, simsforaz.com forward slash. When I last served as your state representative, I established a strong conservative record fighting for border security, supporting our police, expanding school choice, protecting life and religious freedom, lowering taxes and prescription drug costs, and preserving our Second Amendment. My record leaves no doubt where I stand on these issues, and I am ready to step up and do it again to protect the Arizona freedoms and values currently under attack. The radical left is undermining every American institution, which makes Arizona a safe, free, and prosperous state. Out of touch career politicians and bureaucrats are just making it worse. COVID showed us how dysfunctional and ideological our schools are, how fragile our livelihoods are, and how controlling our government is. As a former assistant United States attorney, and Assistant Attorney General, I know firsthand that when narcotics and cartel trafficking is flooding through our border, funding the police must be our highest priority. As a current Scottsdale public school mom, I also know it's time to put parents first and stop the radical indoctrination in our schools. 
I am running for state house to fight for a better Arizona. And I would be honored to have your vote. Laura Turek, party, Democratic. Campaign funding, traditional. Website, www.lauraforaz.com forward slash. During my time in the classroom, I saw just how underfunded our state's public schools are when a ceiling collapsed over a rug full of my kindergarten students while I was teaching. Now, I work to help Arizonans make their voices heard at the state legislature through my work with civic engagement beyond voting. I am ready to continue the work of listening to my constituents as District 4's state representative. My vision is an Arizona where every child in our state can access a quality public education regardless of zip code. All voters have the freedom to vote and participate in our democracy. And families don't have to choose between paying healthcare costs and avoiding bankruptcy. Our state is so divided right now. I know we can bridge divides and build community by bringing everyone into our governing process and giving all good ideas the fair hearing at the legislature they deserve. 